I'm Richard Leeds, and uh, I made the last of the films, uh, The Dark Side. I, was, I mean, do we have any questions for that? Like a thousand questions. Do we have any direct questions? <clears throat> well, I, I don't have an especially a question. I just want to say that um, the part of the, the disaster for me reminds me of the visual work of WordPress photo, which is great. But I think if in the future, if I would um, uh, think about the film, my memories is focused only on, on, on the disaster. But if I remember the story, love story, I would think about another film. What do you think about that? Yeah, I, I, um, it was a, uh, a clash or a contrast of genres. I wanted to uh, take these two very opposite genres that have very different uh, borders and to uh, juxtapose them, put them together uh, in a way that's somewhat disturbing or where you really ask about uh, where these borders are. And one thing about a hurricane is it mixes everything up. Uh, so this metaphor of the hurricane, which where people who usually are, have separate lives uh, are mixed together uh, became also a metaphor for me about putting these two genres together, uh, which uh, creates a kind of uh, attention because of the uh, way in which usually we're presented uh, with documentary material, which is uh, uh, within that genre and within that particular time period, we're expecting a certain kind of reality, and then we go to see something which is a romantic comedy, and there's a kind of, of uh, completion uh, to that form. And I wanted to take these two forms and to uh, put them together in a way that would uh, point up the boundaries between them, uh, the way in which both uh, cinematically and in terms of the way we experience reality, uh, these are, are two things that are uh, two kinds of storytelling uh, that are usually kept apart um, and how they, uh, uh, they're putting them together realize, uh, helps us to see or think about the artificiality of those boundaries. Well, we, uh, uh, you know, it was, uh, I, had, I had previously, or, or just a, a short time before this, I had done another film uh, which was using these very small cameras. And, uh, you know, I loved the ability just to be able to, you know, shoot from the hip. Mm -hmm. And then the storm hit. And, uh, you know, we'd always, you know, as a, a low budget filmmaker, you're always thinking of opportunities. And we, one of the things we always do is shooting on the streets of New York is free. You know, basically you can go out there and just start shooting and you, know, you haven't spent any money uh, on locations. So the storm hit and some friends who had all their power had gone out and they'd come to live with us. And uh, they said, oh my God, downtown, you know, it's all the lights are out, it's incredible. And part of me was like, oh, and then part of me was like, oh, oh. <laughs> So, uh, you know, I made some calls, uh, grabbed uh, a cinematographer I had worked with before, uh, an actor I had worked before with, and one uh, line producer. And we went down there, and the actor said, you know, well, well what's, what's my role? I said, look, Ada, we, we, we can't record sound. Uh, uh, you know, if we're going to shoot footage. If it looks good, I'll, I'll make up a story when I get home. So, uh, <laughs> so we first shot the night, it was two nights after the storm, the opening scenes. And then, you know, I, I had an idea for the character of this uh, kind of bohemian downtown guy. And then I began to create the story. And then we worked, then, you know, I started to create the story and I wanted to find out more of the storm. And I went out to volunteer in uh, the Queens. And uh, the one place we went to volunteer was shut. So by chance, there was a little postcard saying there's a, there's a group working with uh, helping the firefighters. So by chance, you know, we went, we answered, and they gave us some bags. And they said, look, we need some toilet paper. 
uh, you know, a few things, uh, dish soap. So we went and I met two of those guys and we started talking and um, so that became part of the story. And, uh, and then, uh, you know, I went and heard some musicians, uh, friends of, of, of ours, and I said, hey, that's great. So I put that in. And then, um, and then the firefighters looked at what I was working on, and I thought they were going to hate it. I thought they were going to think it was too French. And, uh, <laughs> and, they said, and they said, no, no, this is great. And they said, we got this other friend who's got this footage. So, so then they introduced me to the third firefighter who had the footage that he had shot during the fire. And uh, you know, one of the things that interested uh, me about him was his attitude towards uh, filming. Was he had a, he had you know because he's trained to, to 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 put out a fire, and the fact that he had filmed troubled him. And he but he really thought well, I'm passing this on. I'm letting I'm going to let other people know what happened. So I was so interested in how he, uh, he really thought about what does it mean in the, in the middle of something, you know, which can often draw us to act, we choose to, to, to take a camera. Mm -hmm. So I found him very interesting. And then we, so it, it was kind of this process uh, that, so we shot it in sections over many, many months and, um, and then put it all together. Um. I loved it, by the way. Thank you so much, John. Yeah, and, um, you know, because we did cross genres, but you know, the, the theme for us is it's always you know, tell us a good story and tell it well, and, and we definitely did. And you know, I'm sure that you know, if there's any more questions, you know, Dave, Dave, you ask this and so on. But it's a great question. I mean, I, I loved it.